we work together incredible well in the fact that uh, when we are winning, we try to analyze why. When we are losing, we are going to try why. Pep Guardiola speaking on Man City director of football, Sigi Berdegestein. The pair have been friends since they were part of Barcelona's 1992 dream team, managed by Johan Cruyff, someone both men are disciples of. Born in the Basque country, Begidistein started his career with Real Sociedad before Cruyff signed him as a 23-year-old in 1988. It was a move that changed his life. As well as winning La Liga four times, the European Cup and six further trophies, he met Guardiola, then a 19-year-old prodigy breaking into the side under Cruyff. So close was the bond between the two, Begidistein was one of the few people allowed to visit the Dutch legend after he was diagnosed with lung cancer in 2015. Twelve years prior, Cruyff had recommended his old player become Barca's director of football. In that role, Begidistein gradually gained influence and power, particularly after Vice President Sandro Rossell departed in 2005. By far his most significant contribution to the Catalans' cause was the appointment of B-team coach Guardiola in 2008. Begidistein had been part of a three-man party who interviewed Jose Mourinho in Lisbon as Frank Rijkaard's reign wound down. None had been convinced, and the Basque native put forward Guardiola, who had yet to complete his first and only season with the B-side. And he trusts me. I could choose many incredible managers in that time. And what can I say? My gratitude will be eternal. Together, they brought unparalleled success to Camp Nou, winning eight trophies, including the 2009 Champions League, while instilling a scintillating style of play and leaning heavily on the cantera for players, including Sergio Busquets and Pedro. When Rossell returned as president in 2010, Begidistein resigned. Two years later, he followed former Barca executive Ferran Soriano to City, and the pair put the structure in place to lure Guardiola to the Etihad in 2016. It wasn't all plain sailing though. Begidistein's early signings, particularly Eloquim Mangala, Wilfred Boney and Steven Jovetic flopped, while City also felt the wrath of UEFA's club financial control board for financial fair play breaches. One of the reasons I extended my contract two times is because Chiki is here, Guardiola said in November. Three Premier League titles, seven cups and a first Champions League final appearance are testament to their union. And it's for that reason that City fans will hope Begidistein remains at City for a while yet. So without him I would not be here, that's for sure.